Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough where I'm going to teach you how to drive badly. <laughs> so yeah, now we're going to the retro cups of sorts. I'm going to take Waluigi here for the heck of it. Yeah, I figured get the heavyweight characters out of the way early for the easier cups. So yeah, as I said, I'm rotating characters for each one, even if I'm not all that comfortable with using the character. But uh, here we go, it's the GameCube Pe Peach Beach here from the uh, Double Dash game. A very, very linear course, except for the very beachy area. Well, obviously it's a beach, of course, but there's only like one split path on the entire course. So it's a very, very simple, track here and you can't even take the path on the left all the time if the um, tide isn't in your favor like see how the tide goes in and out the tide has to be out for you to be able to take that left path and you also notice a little bit earlier in the race I oh, <laughs> I seen that coming I, I uh, anyway a little bit earlier in the race you see me get this little air drift thing like I have right now well it passed a little bit there but yeah you get the idea if you sit or I should say if you drive behind somebody for a certain amount of time you'll get that little speed boost thing anyway look out for the cataquacks as well this is definitely a Super Mario Sunshine course of death oh the memories of horrorness so much pain and torment Oh, have a banana peel, Luigi. You missed the banana peel, Luigi. And I've got ink on my screen. Someone get a chamois. Oh, I need some Windex. Oh, okay, thank you. And it's amazing how it just clears off the screen on its own. You know, ink is dark and is black and as thick as that. I just don't know how it works, but it works. It gets itself clean. I guess it's like a self-cleaning TV screen or something like that. I didn't even know I bought the screen, you know, when that happened. It just happened that way. Oh boy, not the red shell. No, no, not this. Uh, not this late in the race that I get this bad of a place. So, yeah, this might turn out okay, I guess. Yeah, I kind of got overtaken there on the last lap thanks to a barrage of items. And uh, that's Mario Kart Wii for you. <laughs> Next race. One of my favorite tracks, actually, from the DS game. It, it is very simple, but at the same time, it's kind of complex in the way that you have to make choices depending on the items that you get, like boost items. Like, this this waterfall here, you can drive right, whoa, drive right through. Normally, if you just start at the top, heck, top part of the waterfall. Uh, with the second waterfall, you'll have to avoid, unless you have a mushroom. Third waterfall, you can go through if you have, uh, I mean, if you go through the top of the waterfall as well, at the very top where the water is coming from. And that's really all there is to this track, but otherwise, you might also have to choose your route depending on what character you're taking. Like, maybe it's not a good idea for me to be going through that with a heavyweight character. So, yeah. What, what the heck just happened there? Anyway, oh yeah, I blocked the shell. Woo! There's also boosts along the outside, which kind of make you question whether you want to stay on the inside or the outside, depending on the track. I just like to kind of nick the boost panels if I poss possibly can, and uh, just try and get as much speed as I possibly can. And if you look towards the ins whoa, the middle of the track here, I guess I didn't have enough speed because I was small. That was my fault. If you look towards the middle of the track, like in the out of bounds death area there, there's a ginormous Yoshi egg, bigger than any Yoshi egg ever before. And I got a red shell, but it's kind of too late. Well, maybe it's not too late. Oh, I should have maybe got that mushroom over there instead of these boosts. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get the. Wait, wait, don't overtake me, please. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah! First place. Been a while since I got a race like that. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's enough of that. Click, 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 click. Go, go. Next race. Um, I should also mention that these Retro Cup tracks are kind of short by nature, so these parts might be shorter than normal parts. Well, as you know, compared to the other ones. And I just want to do one cup per video, so to speak. If they end up being like 8 or 10 minutes, I would still be pretty happy with that because that's... Uh, like, 8 to 13 minutes is actually like my ideal video time. 
Uh, maybe a little bit later, maybe, well, well, yeah, I guess maybe a little bit later than that, maybe 14 or 15 minutes, but I don't like to, like, push it too much with video length, so this will be okay anyway. Um, if you ever hit one of these blocks on the outer walls there, they'll fall off and then create a hole into the Down is Death spooky area, even though it really won't do anything if you go down there except, you know, waste time like any other Fallout area, but I would actually think that if you hit a block, it wastes more time than if you were to actually fall out. Or it just feels like that, because of how long it takes you to accelerate, and why am I so far ahead in first place? <laughs> I don't understand that. Look at that. Look at the map. Hi, I'm Daisy down there isn't even close to me for whatever reason. Now, now I bet you, I, just because I said that, I'm going to have a barrage of items demolishing me on the last lap, or not. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> Weird! And Daisy finished way later. Well... I don't get it! <laughs> this is what I mean about uh, Mario Kart Wii being a highly luck-based game. It's a slot machine. You either dominate or you get blown to pieces. Or, well, I guess there is sort of an in-between sometimes, but usually it's those two. <laughs> Anyway, this is from the N64, Mario Raceway, oh, I forgot to mention the other one was from the SNES. It was one of those expanded Super Nintendo tracks that I was talking about earlier in the credits of Part 4. And, yeah, it, it wasn't too much different, but it was definitely bigger than the original track. And we got some Piranha Planet heads there, they, they look quite a bit different than their uh, N64 counterparts, I have to say, and ah, I mistimed my shape. Curses! That's okay. Whoa! Ginormous Mario in the his house. Yeah. Surprisingly, the mushroom doesn't make you grow big, or I should say the normal mushroom does. It's the giant mushroom that makes you grow big. Never understood that in Mario Kart games. It doesn't make much sense. As a matter of fact, that's the first thing that I thought of when I got a mushroom in my first Mario Kart game. I was expecting to grow big, but it didn't happen. It just gave me a speed boost. Still good, but not what I was expecting. <laughs> and I see a banana is going to be dropped. Actually, three of them. Oh, boy. Eat my shell! Oh, so close. So very close. And that shell is still bouncing around there. Hopefully, I'll be able to hit someone along the way. And blooper attack! Uh, oh, that was just mean. And like, how the heck did I overtake that person? I wasn't going faster than it. Oh, whatever. That was weird. The, what, if, like the computers slow down or something when they get ink splattered on them or not? They shouldn't. I mean, the ink doesn't affect anything other than the screen. <laughs> and there's evidently billboards evident, uh, advertising Yoshi for there for whatever reason. Maybe it's advertising the. Uh, Yoshi's Island Resort or something like that, you know, it's so, so like a billboard to get some business and I just ran myself off roll there, curses! That wasn't the ink, it was my fault there, I did a power slide a little bit too early there. Oh well. And last lap, hopefully this is going to go well. Because, you know, you can always be overtaken on the last lap by a barrage of freaking items. Someone run into my banana peels, please. That would be very nice of you, and I think I did hit somebody there. I think that was Bowser on the map. I don't know, but I finished first. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> it was only that first race that I did pretty bad on. Well, that was only because of that last lap and the load of items that demolished me. Oh. <sighs> Well, there we go, gold trophy. Happy music, it's a shell, it's golden, it's sparkly. What are those, like, emeralds emblazed into the gold or something like that? Or say embroidered into the gold? I don't know, just like set into a solid gold trophy. That thing has got to be extremely expensive. Just saying. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part.